In the last tutorial that I made, I actually had a mistake, because I talked about typecasting before I'd actually explained what it does. So in this tutorial, I am going to correct that mistake and tell you a little bit about typecasting. Uh, typecasting is when you take a value of one data type and you convert it to a value of another of another data type. And this is how you do it. In parentheses, you have the data type that you want to convert it to int or double or character. We'll do int. And then to the right of it, you have the value that you would like to convert. So, for example, 3.14, which is a double. And we're going to assign that to an integer. And this should, if we are correct, uh, assign the value of 3 to pi. Now, when it converts from 3.14 to an integer, it has to lose data because an integer cannot store decimal numbers here. So, just like we learned about a while ago with uh, mathematical division, when we were dividing a integer by an integer, how it lost precision, it will do the same thing here. And it is a the process is called trunca truncation. I guess that's the word. I don't really know. I just made that up. Uh, it truncates the number and it just cuts off anything to the right of the decimal point. It will not round up. So 3.5 would still be 3. It does not round up. All right, so let's run this code and print out pi and see if it does indeed equal 3. If it does equal 3, that'll be it for this tutorial, and you will know the basics of typecasting. If it doesn't, uh, I guess I'll have to remake this tutorial and get it right, but let's see. And I will run the code, and it does equal 3. Alrighty, so that is how you typecast a value of one data type to a value of another data type. And you are actually going to need to do this a lot later on in C. Uh, so it's important that you know how it works now. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next tutorial.